Why, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Voice of the Rings, a Lotro Adventure! And we're continuing on today, my friends, uh, where we left off in the last one. So, uh, we uh, now need to go and search the beach for this, uh, basically this kid who's being a runaway. Um, but normally he just wants to get away from his royal duties. Basically, you know, classic story. Um, but, uh, of course, Corsairs are all over the place because of the whole war that just happened. And uh, they're worried he's going to get kidnapped or something. So we're supposed to go and look for the kid uh, to help out, basically. I said look along the beach. Huh. There's no sign of... His name is Orgulas. What's this lady doing? Will there ever be an end to this toil? The old woman barely pauses to acknowledge your presence. No, I do not require help, she intones as she, if she's <laughs> repeated these words to others before. She continues digging for a while longer before finally speaking up again. Hmm, a stubborn one, aren't you? Let me work in peace. If you truly want to help, then find me some pebbles and a piece of driftwood. There should be plenty along the beach there. Okay. I'm so curious, I think I'll actually do it. Kind of want to know what she's doing now. What is it, treasure? She's going to start stinging she's got a jar of dirt or something? <laughs> All right. There you go, driftwood. Pebbles. Why are we getting pebbles? Pebbles are such a fun word. Pebble. It's a pebble. Or if you want to be weird about it, you can say a peeble. <laughs> All right, there we go. I don't know if that's weird, but it just sounds fun. All right, let's see. Uh, wow, there's a lot of driftwood along the shore. And actually, this looks so much like a certain beach I've been to. <laughs> this kind of wood. There's no sign of Orgulus along the beach. Okay, so I'm supposed to keep looking for him. So... I basically finished searching for the child, but you know, on the way back, I'm, wow, look at how awesome that looks. Look at that, look at that, guys. And some people were telling me they didn't like how the new area looked. You crazy. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, it's awesome. Oh, not to my viewers, but to that person that made that <laughs> comment. I think it looks really good. I love how the textures look on the beach and stuff too. It looks really nice. Should probably be using my new uh, pig that I got with the, the luxury coffer. But uh, let's see what she says. Gondor will never be as it was. I did not think you would come back. Thank you. If my son were here, he would thank you too. I made sure he had good manners, after all. The Corsairs took him away. But the sea claimed him in the end. I have nothing to bury. But this crate of seashells from his childhood. She utters no more words. Instead, she picks up her shovel and continues digging. Aw, that's sad. I was kind of uh, not anticipating that storyline. <laughs> well, last... So they got... I guess they're showing the, the, the sad side of war and then the hope that someone survived. Like, remember last episode, we find out that, that the girl and the, the boy's dad lived. And we, like, rescued him. That was really fun. That was a happy ending. That poor lady, uh, is, uh, very, is very sad. You found no sign of the boy? No one around the village has seen him of late. I cannot return to Lord Sirion without him. Lond, sorry, Lond Sirion. Oh, uh, King Elisar steps forward. Better get off my horse. Do not despair before there is need, my friend. We have seen no sign of Orgalas, but neither is there evidence that he ran afoul of danger. Elisar strokes his chin and gazes out over the waves. Is there a tall watchtower of some sort along the coast? Gulselgil's heir might have climbed such a tower in order to get a better view of the Corsair's ships out in the bay. 
such a sight might be difficult for a young boy to refuse, if my own childhood is to be any indication. Uh, Demers says Barad. What Barad feign to the west in such a place? All right, off we go. Stable master. We must not let our vigilance lapse. I just realized this stable master has my wonderful mount in the background right there. Aha! That's for uh that's for the Patreons. Okay, uh let's see here. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Swift travel quickly. 144 silver. That's like almost half the loot I found in that backpack on the beach. Last episode. Being, uh, being price gouged, man, by these NPCs. They're like, oh, inflation. And I'm like, what? It's Gondor. Yeah, we just had a war. What do you think, crazy dwarf? They're just charging me because I've got gold armor on. That's the reason. They're like, this guy's got money. <laughs> All right. If only. <laughs> All right. King LSR kneels outside Barad Fane. Um, studying the ground intently. So what do you see in that, that grass, sir? Aye, this is just the sort of place I expected. What do you make of these tracks? He looks pretty good. Look at that. Look at those textures on his face. They look really good. Uh, well, sir, they look like, uh, small tracks. Is it possible the tracks were left by a child's shoes? It is hard to say. Search for him in Baron Fane. All right, so this is the old, an old watchtower or something. Oh, pretty flowers everywhere. Very nice. Let's see. Ooh, look at that view. Gorgeous. I just love the fact that you can look in Lotro. This is something I've said in the past, but you can just look out in Lotro. And everywhere you can see, you can walk to. Like, all the way over there. That mountain range, I can get to the end of that mountain and go over it if I wanted to. I just think that's so... That's that's where the adventuring comes in. By the way, that water looks really good from here, too. Alright, let's see. Is that the child? Oh, there he is! Ogolus! A big dwarf walks up behind the child. Oh, this is a good view, kid. Oh, whoa, there's like an Argonoth down there. A mini Argonoth. What do you want? I'm not ready to return to Lord Kirion, and you cannot make me. What do you want? I'm not ready to return to Lord Kirion, and Lord Kirion, and you cannot make me. I have not yet even seen any of the Corsair ships up close. Wait. Who is that man? Is he... King Elisar? My mother brought me to the king's wedding this summer, but I only saw him from afar, and we did not say long. Can he really come to Amphalas? Have come. You tell uh, Orgulus that Elisar joined the search to find him, and the boy's eyes widen in amazement. Truthfully? He came here to seek me? I cannot believe it. I simply must show him to my home. Yes, I will return to Lon Sirion at once. King Elisar, mother will be so surprised. <laughs> Lead on, young master Orgolos. We will Zolan follow you I. to Lon Kirion. Zolan and I will follow you to Lon Kirion. Sirion. It is located to the west, Zolan, and was named... Uh, let's see. Curly Yondi, by the men of Numenor, who settled there during the Second Age. It is the oldest Numenorean settlement in Gondor. Oh, wow. But its origins name fell out of use, and now is Lond Sirion. It was Gosalgil's ruling seat, and now his widow, Mara, holds it until their son comes of age. Wow. Cool. All right, I guess we're off to Lorn Sirion, which uh, is right there. And makes sense that it it's at such a far point of the... It makes sense that, like, from Numenor, they would have settled there first. Cool. 
Very, very cool. Now, let's see. Can I, uh... So, technically... <laughs> technically... Let's see. Is that it? Lawn Sirion. <laughs> let's uh, speed that up a little bit there. <laughs> All right. Little mithril coins to keep our video moving. Um, okay, so we need to, now that we're here in Lon Sirion, we'll run to the front gate where the child will be amazed that we got here so quickly. Also amazed he got here so quickly. Uh, Orgales leaps around excitedly. Here we are. You've probably seen impressive places on your journey across Gondor, and Minas Tirith is, of course, very large. But my teachers say that Lon Sirion is older than all of them. Let me show you around, King Elisar. Demaris clears his throat and calls for your attention. Master Orgolas is very excited, but you and the king should first present yourselves to the Lady Mara. It would be proper. She will be inside the hall. <laughs> He's very excited. It's this poor guy. He's like, hurry, child, grow up. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> Let me run through the bushes here. Oh, here's my VIP rewards. Could I speak with you a moment? Yes, you could. What could you can those, I do for you? You gave me those VIP rewards. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, let's go uh, find the, the the queen, or I guess she's not a queen, but she'd be the the, the lady of the of the lord and lady. Um, it's farther apparently. This is the original Chance Thomas music right here. Is this it? The library of... Is this where I'm supposed to go? This is most definitely not where I'm supposed to go. Though I was very tempted to go in the library, because I do like libraries. I'm a fan of libraries. I want to do my vacation at the library! Hope some of you got that joke. All right, let's see. I missed it again. It must be right here. It's from Avatar Lost Airbender, obviously. The Keep of Lond Sirion. Whoa. 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 I don't really want to fall through the, whoa, that music and whoa, I was falling through the floor. Both woes. Whoa, me. Falling through the floor. This music's awesome! What the heck? This is awesome! The Lady uh, Mara motions for you to come forward. Oh, really? Talk to me? Okay. You and your traveling party are welcome to Long Kirin, King Elisar. Uh, King Elisar, and all of you will enjoy the hospitality of my house. Please feel free to explore the Anfalas as you wish, but know that Corsairs of Umbar trouble the long shore. Even despite the war's ending, my guards cannot ensure your safety if you stray near the coast. But I understand this dwarf was present when my husband fell. Would you, would you speak to me of what befell my dear Gosolgil in King's service? You speak of Gosilla's uh, bravery before the Black Gate of Mordor, and that you uh, repaid with, uh, with death the great U Olog that gave him mortal wounds. Moments before the defeat of Lord Sauron, Mari's eyes brim with tears, but she wipes them away with her sleeve, and her expression hardens. So, near to the end, then. I worried it might have been so. What need was there for my husband to die if the men of the West were so near to their victory? My Gosolgil had not the attention uh, of Sauron. He was but one man among hundreds, whose sworn arm failed to slay the Olog that killed my husband before it could reach him, Zolan. Was it yours? Was it the king's? You may leave me, Zolan. I have words to speak to Elisar, but they are not for your hearing. See the comforts of Lon Sirion and know that Kosolil will not enjoy them again. So 
somebody's a little bit uh, sad and upset, but uh, understandable. That would be really hard if you like he didn't die like mid like right at the end. But I did avenge him. Oh, now we get to find the library and stuff. Oh, look at this place. This is awesome. Wow. Anyone want a pile of delicious, uh, I don't even know what that is, actually. Looks like pieces of, uh, meat. And we got, like, and some, like, tarts. Some jelly tarts. And, uh, it looks like, is that llama spread? He's like, let me get the llama spread. Look at that, man. That looks like Christmas Thanksgiving. That looks like Bjorn honey cakes. I feel like some of these are, like, purposely hinting at other things. Wine from Gondor. <laughs> the little... That's funny. Or or it's fancy water. <laughs> oh, whoa. That's cool. The door just opens. No loading screen. Oh, wow. How pretty. Look at that. That could be a nice little... Uh... That's cool. The library of Lon Sirion smells of dust and candle wax. Guloskil's heir is too young to rule. The king has come to resolve the line of succession, hasn't he? Gosolgil's heir is too young to rule and has uh, seceded some of his authority to his mother, Mara. But there are some in Lon Sirion and elsewhere who believe she is not fit to govern in these trying times, and she still in mourning. There is n another matter of some uh, curiosity, stranger. It is known that before the departure of for the war, uh, Gollus, I think his name is actually I'm saying it wrong, Gollus, Gollusgil, Gollusgil prepared a parchment containing his last wishes, but it cannot be found. I have spoken with Mara about this, and she brushes away my questioning. There is something untoward going on. Unta yeah, toward going on. You should tell the king for your safety of Anphalos is affected and that Im imperils the kingdom. Okay. We'll uh, keep that in mind, Sir Scary Man. <laughs> sir Scary Man? Oh, we can go upstairs. This place is cool. Oh, look at this. Oh, there's dog sound effects. Oh, no, that's my dog in real life. <laughs> this is cool how you can just open the doors. Oh, whoa. Whoa, look at this light beaming down. That's so cool. What a cool effect. It's a really cool effect. Look how cool that effect is. Whoa. Oh, you don't have permission to open that door. Okay. Oh, look, it's a little... Oh, they got little cushions! They got beanbag chairs! Heck yeah. Everyone needs a beanbag chair to sit on when you're tired. Oh, <gasps> you can actually sit on it like a chair! What? Yes, beanbag chair power! All right, well... You don't, have, you don't have permission to go to that one again, okay? The door's automatically closed after a while. That's kind of scary. You do not have permission to open that door either. Okay, I see how it is. You do not have permission. Wow, I really don't have a lot of permission to get in a lot of these doors, apparently. Back down we go. The Keep of Lon Serion. This music is very cool.
Well, let's go find the other spots, I guess. Or what I should say is... Go we'll find the other spots in the next episode! Have a great day at Middle Earth, my friends. Thank you for joining me. This is a cool place, and I'll see you in the next one soon. Thanks to my Patreons for their support. You guys are amazing. I appreciate that support. Subscribe button's there. Thank you guys for watching, liking the video, subscribing. Next episode's up there. And you know what? Apparently one of the best ways to support the channel and that I've heard of is watching another video right after this. So, see you in the next one. Over there is a Lotro Tale. If you want to check out my voiceover series, too. This has a similarity of Lotro Adventure. See you in the next one. Stay happy, my friends. Baru Kazad. Kuzad, I menu.